Welcome to the launch of the Cuban Stories Project podcast, The Green Plantain. My name is Susanna. I'm a Cuban American writer, and I will be your host. Through these episodes, I will share the stories of everyday Cubans like you and I. These are the true stories of Cubans who are still making a life on the island and those who have had to make their home elsewhere. The episodes will be approximately half an hour long and will be released every other week on Fridays as a dual language podcast, which means that the story will be shared in the language it was written, in either English or Spanish. Every attempt will be made to have the stories available in both languages within the same episode. I will announce at the beginning of the podcast if you can expect the story in one or both languages. Stories will come in many formats, so you may hear prose or poetry. The story may be read by me or its author. Many of the old stories you will hear in these episodes are written from the point of view of the individual who lived it, thereby bringing a seal of authenticity to a life lived. Together we will explore stories of old which have been forgotten in our collective memories. The idea of this project was born when I visited the island last year after 60 decades of exile, which included living in Venezuela and then finally settling in the United States. I longed to return to Cuba and experience it as an adult to rekindle memories and meet family. I wanted to experience the natural beauty of the island, its people, and walk the streets of my hometown, Santa Clara. During my visit, I found my life enriched as I became a witness to the lives of those who were still in Cuba, not just those related to me. I wanted to tell their story. Then there are the stories of Cubans who made their home in Venezuela and have had to once again uproot themselves looking for freedom to live their lives adding yet another facet to the Cuban diaspora throughout planet Earth, repeating a decades-old history. Those stories must also be recorded. But it doesn't have to end there. The goal of this project is to document stories of Cubans living anywhere, in places like Puerto Rico, Panama, España, Francia, the United States, to name a few. I believe that through storytelling, we capture the essence of living, of our lives and those who came before us. Let's tell our Cuban story from here and there, everywhere, for our children and generations to come. Let's not forget history. Today, I would like to leave you with an excerpt from Jose Martí's verse number five titled, Si ves un monte de espumas. Mi verso es de un verde claro y de un carmín encendido. Mi verso es un siervo herido que busca en el monte amparo. Mi verso al valiente agrada, mi verso breve y sincero, es el vigor del acero con que se funde la espada. Loosely translated, the title is If You've Seen a Mount of Sea Foam. My verse is of a light green and of a flaming carmine. My verse is a wounded deer who seeks on the mount shelter. My verse pleases the brave, my verse brief and sincere. It is of the vigor of steel used to smelt the sword. The launch of this podcast comes to you with love of the thin thread which connects us, our commonality, the cultural roots which bind us. Don't forget to subscribe to The Green Plantain on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, TuneIn, or SoundCloud. Special thanks to Mona Posanoff and my kids for introducing me to the world of podcasting and my husband for being my sounding board. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, this is Susanna at The Green Plantain. Mm-hmm.